The Hague for a two-day hearing that begins today at the International Court of Justice. Ukraine is asking the court to order Russia to halt its military invasion. According to Ukraine, Russia has falsely accused Ukraine of genocide to justify its attack. Russian lawyers, though, didn't bother to show up for the hearing today. Natalie Kalata is with us with the details. Natalie. That's right, Heather. Hearing That hearing is currently underway. We are hearing from Ukrainian representatives representatives, as you mentioned, asking the court to halt Russia's invasion by issuing an order. Now, Ukraine is arguing that it has Russia has falsely accused it of genocide to justify their invasion. Russia has previously claimed that it is acting to prevent the genocide of four million people in the Luhansk and Donetsk region. Ukraine says that is false. Today they are saying they will prove it. Russia has the opportunity to address the court as well to present their arguments. However, as you saw on your screen there just a few moments ago, they have not shown up. Those chairs there, they sit empty at the IG at, at the ICJ. And here is some of what Ukrainian officials told the court today. Have a listen. The fact that Russia seats are empty speaks loudly. They are not here in this court of law. They are on a battlefield waging aggressive war against my country. Russia consented to your jurisdiction under the Genocide Convention. Now it is abusing and violating that convention in order to kill Ukrainians and destroy Ukraine. Russia must be stopped. Now, the hearing is expected to last two days. According to legal experts, Ukraine's argument for the injunction will depend on if they can show that irreparable harm will be done before a full hearing could happen sometime in the future. Now, so we will continue to watch this very closely as the hearing continues underway right now in The Hague. Natalie, let me bring you a little bit of breaking news, too, because quite rightly saying this is expected to be, this was expected to be a two-day hearing, but the headlines are just moving that the court has closed its hearing already. Perhaps because Russia's not there in, in court, but it's closed already. Uh, the verdict will be coming out as soon as possible. It had been expected to be expedited anyway, likely coming out in days, but now saying as soon as possible. This is literally happening in real time as you're reporting on this for us. If it's granted, if the court falls with Ukraine, what will it mean? So this is the big question. One of the things to consider is while they could make and issue this order, it's another thing to actually have Russia comply and then becomes the issue of enforcement. If it is granted, observers do not expect Russia to comply with any order. So what we will be watching is what will happen at the UN Security Council. They are also meeting today. And if the court issues an order, it will be sent to the Security Council. It is at that point that the council can decide uh, if they will act. They have the authority to supervise the enforcement of that order, but it's not a given. And there's no guarantee that the Security Council would attempt to enforce this order, even if it were granted. Russia, remember, is a permanent member of the Security Council. It has a veto, although legal experts say the country could lose its ability to exercise that veto um, in this situation in Ukraine if this order comes out. So we will watch that, of course, as well. We will. Natalie, thank you very much. Natalie Collada with the details on the International Court of Justice hearing.